Hey folks, welcome back to Conquest of Elysium 5. Okay, uh, I was just starting this round, if I remember right, and um, I thought I'd end the episode. Let's ch see what we've got. I'm pretty sure I built... Uh, yeah, that's right, I got this guy. Vukan, the Sea Father. Um, he's going to be quite useful at some point, I think. Okay, let's carry on with this uh, round. Let's go and send Radan. Um, yeah, I think I can kill those. Um, Hermocle Hermocles. Uh, let's just keep this guy here. I, I do need to start picking up some of the... Get Mithras here doing this job. Uh, I just want to start picking up some of these things that I've lost. Unit producing buildings. Sorry, the, uh, the herb producing buildings. Okay. Let's have a look what Niobe's got. Okay, Summon Servants of Gaia. That looks like it might be a cool spell. Uh, also, by the way, thanks again to Mary, Mary Discusser who uh, left some interesting comments in the last video saying um, Call of Gaia will, bring, will give you different things if you cast it in a primal forest as it would in a Grove of Gaia or a Sacred Forest. So that's worth thinking about. Uh, I think I'm just going to... Let's just bring her in and out. Uh, Parheesi. I think I'm going to give her the... I am going to go for the Ritual of Mastery with her. Just so that we've got... Oh, Cloud of Confusion. Good spell. Enchanted Sleep is also a good spell. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I just, so I've got a better uh, character here. She's also got the Call of Gaia as well. Okay. So, let's just have a, take a little bit of time. Just have a look around the map and figure out what we're going to be doing. Because um, I'm spending a lot of time just kind of upgrading everything. That's okay, by the way. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing that. We are going to be getting loads more of these, you know, uh, free spawn units by doing this. But um, at some point, we do have to move out and try and win the game. And yeah, I want to kind of do that sooner rather than later. Okay, we've got Penalia here. Uh, okay, this guy was coming over here, wasn't it? That's right. Just that, that the reason why I want him here is that we still get some uh, Satyr spawn boost if. I, d I take my main ca character out. Alternatively, we can also use him to uh, lead, you know, troops out and jobs like this. Just taking, you know, taking some of these spawning uh, spawning locations. I think we want to take this mother and monster out as soon as possible. I don't know if these monsters class as animals. I think they probably are, um, but we should be able to charm them. It just depends on how high their magic resistance is. Yeah, the magic resistance is poor, so this these things will be fairly easy to to take out. I could charm her. That would be great. <coughs> Charming her, by the way, would be one of the best things that we could possibly do. Um, do we have a charm spell? No, but we can get charm. I'm I'm really tempted to send Niobe here. Let's just give her a bit of a bodyguard. Let's just send her over here, and we're going to um, see if we can get the charm spell. Because that would be really, really cool if we could grab that. Uh, we got summoned wolves there. That's actually a pretty good spell. Yeah, that summons one to three wolves. That's better than summon wolf. So let's get that one. Um, yeah, command beast, animate forage, mystic confusion. I'm going to, I am going to put her there just for a couple of turns and just get some more spells so that we can get her some really, really cool spells. Uh, no, I'm on. Um, yeah, let's send, oh no, hold on. Let's just remove any slow troops he's got. I think he must have moved down from uh, somewhere else last turn. Okay. Keep Demeter there. Okay. It's quite a big area of flat space here. Don't often see that. Um, Orscon here. Let's just see what we can see. Yeah, we should probably take this. I think I think taking the slums... Oh, we got the Barbarian District look. Yeah, the totem, the, the, to, the totem of maladies is kind of annoying to deal with, and all these effigies as well aren't going to be easy. Uh, this is courtesy of me putting the game on um, Wilder, basically. Okay, Balios here is off to level up some of these guys. Really, we want um, we want the bulls. So again, thanks to Mary Discussing. He was like, he did a bit of maths and uh, gave us some information, basically talking about Ents. Uh, and specifically Ents versus Steel Bulls. And apparently, given a few of these guys, these wreck Ents, <laughs> they wreck them. Uh, so, 
they're going to be doing these guys are going to be doing between 10 uh 10 uh is that 10 and 18 damage so basically 10 yeah i think that's 10 and 18 damage or 11 and 18 damage and uh every time they hit which is quite high uh they're most they're going to be getting through that two armor of the ends fairly easily uh, they've also got a gore attack as well um and they've got they don't take that much damage back so if you've got a whole line of these like you know maybe 20 30 of them we'd probably kill those ends and uh, i think they need to be backed up obviously you want to be still getting a bit of chip damage from things uh like archers etc so yeah that's that is one plan that we've got now we want to be sending He could be here, right? But I think not. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk this and just see what we can see. Okay, what do we got here? Um yeah, we have got money. But I wanna be saving this. Uh, I need I we need fifty fifty metal, uh fifty iron. So that we can grab hold of um, some more of these uh, steel bulls, right? So maybe we just get some Satya Warriors. The Satya Warriors, to me at least, feels like quite a good upgrade from the uh, from the base ones. The base ones are quite, you know, um, unsophisticated, let's say. Good raw power, but but they don't have much they don't have much in the way of weaponry. However, I think the uh, the warriors are, are significantly better, at least from my own little experiments in how they perform. Okay, Didus is going to grab this row of trees here. Okay, um, we're late autumn, so we're coming in. Uh, we're coming in uh, ne next turn, basically. We Sorry, next year, around this time next year, we should have enough money, uh, or enough of our rituals to get the Earth Mother. mother. And I think the Earth Mother... It might be a good way of trying to um, take, you know, complete the game basically, win winning the game. Let's get her visiting the library. I want this charm spell if we get it. It's, ex it's expensive doing this, by the way. Ah, uh, curse of the frog prince. That sucks. Um, I say that it doesn't. Right, that might be quite a powerful spell to use on something that's really strong that doesn't have very high magic resistance just to take it out, basically. But um, yeah, I, I can think of better spells. I'd rather have something like summon wolves or whatever. Like summon wolves is a good spell there. Um, let's just bring her back. We'll bring her back over again next turn. There we go. Okay, we've got a couple of, char couple of characters going out that way now. Let's get these guys staying here. Uh, Radan. I think I'm going to get these dudes. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, I think we'll just send these guys out to kill these four. Now, I'm just going to send this guy. Ah, what we found. We found a big army of Monkey Maharashtra. Uh, he's uh, Monkey, Ma Monkey Maharaja, not Maharashtra. Maharashtra is a place in uh, a state in India. Okay, so uh, he's going to jump on us with these and probably kill us. So, scouting mission failed. Let's send these guys back out there. He might come up to try and take these guys in out instead. Um, we do have a fairly large force this way. Let's bring this guy, this group here, which can probably kill these. I'd say. Uh, yeah, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a menagerie of cre of different types of units, but this is a fairly strong army. I'd say it's got you know some decent troops mixed in. They've got these big Bandar warriors on the front. Um, They've got a heavy Bandar warrior as well. A couple of heavy Bandar warriors. They're really, really strong. But, you know, are they a match for our Minotaurs? No, I don't think so. No, not at all. Um, Minotaurs are really, really good. They're, I mean, wow, actually, they are really, really good. They are way better than the heavy Bandar warriors. The difference is, though, the heavy Bandar warriors, you can recruit those guys every single turn. Snacks. So I was just uh, I was just interested to see what we would get. Sometimes I just like rolling the dice. Uh, okay, let's send Mitra. Let's get Mitras with some troops. Um, he's a uh, yeah. He's he's armored, so he's not going to get the extra bonus for the fast movement. Sadly, 
but if I take a few, what, what's he got here? One centaur, eight centaur rides. I've got some normal centaurs as well. Is there only one normal centaur? No, that can't be right. Eight centaurs, eight, okay, eight centaur rides. Okay, there we go. So he's, I'm going to take him out and we're going to start picking up some of this stuff. Um, Derek here, again. Probably just going to grab some basic troops. Let's just get some uh, satyr warriors. Okay, we've uh, we've fulfilled his satyr quota. Tegir can stay there. Um, yeah, this guy can just stay there. Dida is just going to. Wow, look at this. We have got this quite interesting. This kind of row of mountains. We've got these this kind of like spinal column of mountains in three different places actually crossing these forests. Really, really cool. Um, okay, yeah, she, I know he can stay there. She can. I'll, I'll keep her not on sentry. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose this guy. Um, he's got some Minotaur warriors as well. Just in case we do get attacked. And she's actually got a fair chance of defending against this. I don't think that I, th I think they'd be foolish to come in attack us here, especially with the Hammer Dryad there. I think that would be suicide for them actually. Okay, Demeter. Again, we're going to take a bunch of oh, a couple of center rides, like, like a bit of a mix. Gosh, lots of centaurs. That'll do, whatever. And I, we're going to send her out this way to scrub this. Use a bit of scouting. Demeter can stay where she is. The rest of them can stay put. Ah, okay. He's got some interlopers. Okay, he went for the uh, group of harpies there. Okay, this is just us killing some boars. Nothing to see there. Uh, we were attacked in a plane. I don't think we're going to do much here. We... Nah. Okay. Uh, we've got a Satyr commander just to make up for that guy that we just lost. We didn't lose the uh, this the Centaur commander. I'm going to bring him, bring him here just so we shadow this guy. Now, again, a bit of a strategy. Um, think about some strategies. Uh, we've got a yeah Satyr commander. Anywhere where we do not have a Satyr, we could do with one. Here, commander. Might be useful. Um, yeah, here. Uh, let's get a satyr commander up here. Okay, we've run out of gold. That is fine. Uh, look, we just go back to uh, Niobe here. Right, 309. Call a guy's 400. Yeah, let's. I think we'll save. I think we save the inc inc uh, incarnate Earth Mother. Um, there's also the uh, Summon Servants of Gaia as well. Could be fun to use. I do not know what's going to come in that one. Ah, we found another ancient forest. That's good news. Let's bring her down. Ah, look what we found here. We, f we found the bottom of Elysium, I think. Possibly. Yeah, um, we've got a lot of um, herbs incoming. However... We've got a lot of we've we've got we've got lots of uses for them. There's never enough, as they say. So uh, we've got to figure out how we're going to go about um, solving that particular little conundrum. Um, these guys, I would like to level up. Maybe I send them over to this castle here. Let's go and do that now and start making use of some of this free spawn that we're collecting. Um, Demeter can stay there for the time being. Um, hang on a minute. She got. She got um, create grove of Gaia, yes. She's got create sacred grove, yes. We could create a save sacred grove here now. I think this is free. I think um, now there were the host halflings kind of wandering around. Let's just keep her there for the time being. Okay, um, monkey Maharaj is going up that way. Let's go and take this temple city off him and see if we can bring him back down. Man, I love this game so much. It's so entertaining. Um, what's Balios got him? Okay, yeah, he's got a load of mine source. Let's bring him back. All right. Yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to survive if she comes in and walks walks it in. They're probably better off in, with that hammer dryad actually. 
Now, we need to get some more tro uh, troops up here too. Or some more commanders. We got a big force here. Um, this is probably, yeah, this should be enough to take out these guys. A lot of poisonous stuff, but we've got a, we have got a, a decent dryad. Spells. Ah, really, really, really needs better spells. What's she got? Okay, she's got befriend animal, but it's only single. Oh, she's got command beast, right. This is a four, right, we can defeat these guys, I think, with what we've got here. So let's, yeah, easily. So let's just take what we've got. Let's get these mining tools in the front line. Now, we're going to lose these, right? Because basically we are going to end up um, getting poisoned. They are going to die. That's the only problem with that. What we might, what I might do is actually save some of those and take some of the, uh, some of these cheaper units as well. Satyrs aren't, Satyrs hit pretty hard, okay? And they should do the job. We don't, we don't need all of these troops if we, uh, if we've got magic backing them up. So let's get, uh, we'll get NOP. Yeah, yeah, that's right. She, she's the one who's carrying these. What is Mithras got? Okay, don't worry about him. So that should be enough to do this, I think. Yeah, we'll we'll try to we'll try to chase her down, see if we can grab hold of her, and uh, put an end to that army that she's bringing coming down here with. Uh, Derek here. Yeah, he, we've not got his money for anything. Okay, she's still coming closer. This is interesting. Looks like I think like these guys are coming to uh, take everything that I've got basically because we have got a large portion of the map now. I'd say um, we can reasonably lay claim to that. Let's jump into this temple city and just grab this one off him and let him know that we are here. Uh, she is here, I think. Yeah, there she is. I think we can win this battle here um, again because now she has got a uh, high duel here, but I think that's the only one, and she's only level one. So I mean, look, she's got a single anakite. She's got some barlight zealots on the front line. Our minotaurs are going to wreck these guys, including the the um, uh, including these. Then we're just going to have to chop our way through a lot of insects, and hopefully our centaurs will do most of the work in taking those down. Another Anakite at the back here. That's kind of interesting. Interesting choice. Oh, it's not a choice. It's just an interesting situation that's happened. Um, let's get bring this guy back here. Look. Uh, Derek can stay where he is. Okay. See what Dida can find down there too. All right, Naobi. Uh, yeah, she's just going to stay there. Not much to do. Okay, we got ambushed. There might. Be, we'll see what's in that ancient forest. I don't think it'll be anything too scary. Okay, yeah, he's he's losing all this stuff that he's taking off me. Probably wasn't the smartest thing for him to do, but there we go. Getting quite a lot of stuff to manage in this game. Okay, we ambushed in the first forest. So just a couple of uh, serpents, look. No biggie. Um, here we go. Here's the battle in the forest. Let's see what happens here. To speed it up just a touch. Yeah, look at that. The, these Minotaurs absolutely laying into this Anakite. Um, he's not going to last more than a couple of rounds. Now, we are going to get poisoned. Like I said, these we're going to lose all these Minotaurs pretty much. Oh, look at that. Now, we are within range of Cloud uh, of Enchanted Sleep, Cloud of Confusion, uh, at least Enchanted Sleep. That's going to be a big help in stopping us getting poisoned quite so fast. Yeah, look at this. She can only reach what she can reach. Look at these Minotaurs charging in as well. Now, it's dangerous them doing that because they are going to get completely surrounded and killed quicker. Uh, but we, so we are going to lose them. But at the same time, it also disrupts the enemy ranks in a big way. And we've seen how effective that can be. As you get like enemies, you know, your your troops are also kind of surrounding enemy units. <coughs> Don't lament the minotaurs; they are doing their job. 
These are just standard minotaurs as well. They're not even leveled up. Um, it might have been if we'd have uh, put, if we'd have got some armor on them, uh, those guys would those minotaurs would have survived a lot longer. It's not over yet though. We are going to have to do a lot of damage here. It's very very difficult to see as well with the uh, with the mist. I actually forget what the mist does. Single target ranged attacks. Ah, okay, yeah, we're a bit of a disadvantage. Mind you, they've got quite a lot of um, ranged stuff as well. I'll be interested to see who wins this. I might actually lose it. I don't think I will just because of the magic. I think because I've got the magic advantage, I should be okay. Um, have we got enough Minotaurs to chop through this uh, this remaining Anakite who's, who's kind of been loitering in the back lines? Yeah, he's not going to last long. Minotaurs are pretty big and scary too. Yeah, I think we've got this. We've got this. Even with the mist, I, I think that um, you know our archers will and the magic will probably win the day here. And I haven't seen the high priestess really, you know, doing that well. Look, you haven't seen her with a big stack of giants, and that's because there just isn't the ta there, there's no towns and cities for her to, to, to uh, actually take. She'll have probably eaten half of the cities already, or you know any of the towns and villages that are left in this um, in this society. There just aren't that many. Look at this Minotaur, still going. Look. Oh, he's got the Hyra Jewel as well. He's dueling her. Now, hopefully, he doesn't die. I oh, did. Yeah, he, he died at the end. Okay, let's have a look at that. All right, we lost 54 units, we killed 275. Bear in mind, a lot of these are going to be like, you know, crappy scorpions and stuff, but still, these things do damage. Um, the giant scorpions actually killed seven. They would have been the Minotaurs, because they were on the they would have been on the front line, I expect. Um, but yeah, she got pretty abysmal kills, to be honest. Uh, we did lose 22 Minotaurs, because they were just charging off. The Satyrs also did pretty well, look. Um, you know, each one of them got a kill essentially. 66 satyrs, 66 kills. Excellent value. Uh, we lost 32 of them, however. And the uh, centaurs and centaurides also got a fair amount of kills too. So, great stuff. This battle in the temple city. Oh, I don't think we're going to lose this. <laughs> I think we got it. It's very, very hard to, uh, to breach walls in fog. Uh, what can we do here? We have some cash. Let's get some centaur warriors on the front. Okay. Let's go and grab that hobo village. Get Orscon heading out this way. Derek can stay there. Let's get Tegia staying there. Actually, can has she got? Yeah, she can create a sacred grove here. Uh, do I really need it though? That's the thing now. I don't know if I do. I don't. I don't think. I think I've got so many unit production buildings now that I can't hope to really use them all apart from in their sort of, you know, uncivilized state. <laughs> Yeah, so um, uh, yeah, I, I can't hope to use them all. I think I am going to just save. I will just save for the... Got a friend animal. Yeah, she has. Let's try and avoid those. Okay, see what we can find around here. Um, an OP. Okay. Send her back. Uh, Niobe's going to stay there. Okay, no I'm on. Radan. Yeah, these guys. Uh, so this monkey Maharashtra army. Uh, sorry, monkey. Yeah, Maharashtra army's up here somewhere. Um, we might come down and meet it with something, maybe. Yeah, maybe Derek comes back and brings his forces back here now. Here he comes. Okay, we've got a Satya Commander available. There we 
go. Let's get one of, one of those here. And uh, yeah, I imagine this is just an ancient forest, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Um, I think we get... We'll just keep Plur on there. You might be useful. Oh, we found a cloud village. Uh, we've got a champion storms here. We cannot take that out, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. She's also got storm magic. Um, but he is immune to shock resistance. She's got shock resistance. She hasn't. So I, I, I think she's got to keep her well away from that. Um, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna. If I leave that, I'm gonna lose it. The only thing is, I don't think I, I, I'm gonna lose troops if I take that. If I try and kill it, let's bring her back here. Okay. Yeah, we, we're starting to get a decent look. We've, we've actually got quite a lot of troops coming in here now, and it looks like we're. I, are we attracting in Satya Warriors, or are, we, are those ones we've recruited? No, I think we must... These are ones we recruited. I think. Uh, let's send Derek back to the keep. So, um... Let's get our mages. Let's get our mage core out. In fact, I, I actually... I think I'll take Niobe to go and kill this guy, because she might be able to capture some of the... She's got the spells to be able to uh, capture, you know, command beasts. Um, so let's bring her. The Minotaur's on the front line. <laughs> We've got a Bandar. We've got our own Bandar there as well. That'll probably do this. Um... Uh, Vulcan cannot move. Why not? Oh, I see. Yeah, he's got... Okay, so he's got troops. Wait a minute. Who's he carrying? Yeah, I, I understand what's going on. All right, let's just leave that one turn. We can hold it one turn. Ah, there's a gold stream. Okay, wow. Okay, we just grabbed a gold stream. That's nice. Big gold income. Uh, let's move this guy back here. We're going to lose sight of him. But that's okay because he's going to come up. He's going to come up to the north to me. I expect get that guy staying there. Uh, Tomolus can stay here. Okay, we have actually got the metal now to get some bronze balls. Uh, so, sorry, some. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, we can't. We can't recruit them here though. We're going to have to go to a city. Let's bring these guys up this way. Okay. Just gradually expanding our borders back again. Balios can stay there. He's actually got quite a lot of troops here. Here he comes. Oh, and um, we've got another Hoburg army. Burgermeister. To see... I couldn't see what he had there. <coughs> no doubt it was more than what we've got. I don't think he can get through here this turn. Okay. Oh, we're starting to explore most of the most of the um, most of Elysium now. It's kind of a bit dangerous moving around um, in these in these circumstances with the mist. Can I deal with these? Yeah, I think I can deal with these without... I think these guys can deal with these. I don't think we need to bring her down. I think I'm just going to leave her. Derek can move back out to the uh, to the keep. In fact, we'll grab Timolos here and actually we'll bring... We'll bring these down as well, which is probably what I should have done. Uh, yeah, Nibi can stay here. I think this this year we'll be able to afford the uh, the, to summon the Earth Mother. Okay, let's go and grab this guy. I might bring Penelia here. Can she reach? One, two, no. Okay. This should be, yeah, this should be plenty. Uh, they, they have got a lot of Makata, and they do nasty chip damage, and which can mean DRN rolls. 
Um, what do we got on here? Oh, yep. Forgot about that guy. Look at this giant moose. We want to we want to try and capture him at some point in the game, if we can. Okay, Tegu can stay here. I'm, I will probably use the call of Gaia on that. Sorry, the um, create sacred grove at some point. Okay, um, this guy can get some. Oh, we can get some arches. Look. That's actually not bad. The only problem is they're slow. Still, I think that's probably a good thing to get. Okay, let's roll on to the next turn. Oh, she's moved out anyway. Whoops. Okay, let's bring her back then. Let's watch this guy get absolutely mauled by a giant moose. <laughs> okay, here we go. <coughs> so, we've got a whole big line of front lines of Manitors, Centaurs. They're going to chop through these guys pretty quick, I think. I don't think we're going to lose too many troops here. Maybe we might lose a couple of the Minotaurs on the front. Especially because these Bandar, the Bandar archers um, in the back, in these back lines can hit pretty hard. There's some Bandar on the back as well. That's interesting. Why are they on the back? Why are they on the back line there? That's interesting. They don't have any... Um... Maybe one of you guys who knows this better than me will, will be able to tell me how that happened. I might just have to watch rewatch the battle, actually, because I don't know if they were moved. Um... But yeah, that's that's really that's really uh, interesting to see those guys. A whole bunch of heavy bandar. Um, all at the back. Yeah, it looks like we got this. Okay. Sorry, let me just look at that again. What happened there then? Were they pushed back by their mining tools? Are they got What? Let me see that again. They got pushed right to the back. That can't be right. There, there's something happened there. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a bug. I don't know. It looks like a bug to me that does. I've not seen that before. Yeah, that's really, really weird. Okay, that's one to tell to talk to Il Winter about. It might be that something that they. It's funny. I think the uh, Johan and Christopher, <laughs> they. They probably get sick of me sending them bug reports, and then they turn around to me and say, "Actually, this is this is working as intended. It's happened like more than more than a couple of times." <laughs> Let me just say that they appreciate the bug reports, I think, but um, only pro providing that they're actually bugs. <laughs> Let's go and get these guys and take these um, areas back. Get back in your forest, you! I did not mean you to be moving out. Okay. Okay, Derek here is on his own. Let's bring. I will bring Timolos back as well. Um, back to there. Oh, okay. We've got some little raiding parties. Um, barbarian raiding parties. Yeah, keep him there. One, two, three. I think we'll try and explore some of this area now. Um. Yeah, we are going to have loads. I, I think we can probably afford to cast this, actually, to create sacred growth. So let's get that done. Uh, just so that we've we've got these guys actually you, you being used to generate some units too. A couple of tigers there. Um, let's go and take those. I think I'm going to join these two forces up. Uh, we've got a very small force here of... Uh, a he quite a heavy raiding party by the looks of it. Um... Let's bring those guys down there. Right, we've got a lot of troops here. Um, I think what we want to do... Do we have a nearby city? Yeah, we do. So... If, we got a, if we've got a commander spare... Not really. Um, I'll think about that shortly. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna freak myself out about it now. Let's 
keep her there too. Uh, let's keep going with these Satya warriors. I'm just I'm gonna upgrade these guys as much as I can. Okay, that force is moving in from the north. Okay, we grabbed a couple of tigers. Very, very nice. We've got a dryad available as well. What excellent look. What excellent look. Okay. We've got this grover guy here. And we've got this grover guy here. Neither of which have got a dryad. Um, let's, let's put one in here. <coughs> Excuse me. That's why it's always good to make sure you've got, got some spare cash. Don't spend all your cash on Satya Warriors like I like to. Okay, uh, an Ipsy. She's got strength and heal. Okay, not very good spells. Actually, they're not bad. They're not, they're not, you know, there are no bad spells. But there are some that are just kind of a little, feel a little bit more worthwhile than others. Okay, let's get these guys just grabbing this iron mine back. So we're just going to bring our iron income back to where we were hoping it would be. He's going to be able to jump on us, I think, no matter where we move here. One, two, three. Fine arrow and blindness. We're not going to beat them. Let's try and get away. I, I don't know if we'll be able to. It just depends on how many movement points he's got. Or action points he's got. Uh... Okay. I want to kill these. Let's send out... Uh, what have we got? We've got... Look, right, I'll send her out because we really do not need any more um, centaurs. <laughs> Centaur rides and centaurs. Let's just go and just use these guys. Okay, another couple of turns and we'll get the Earth Mother. And then we're going to see some cool stuff, I think. Now, what was in that spider trial? There was a whole bunch of troops. I think we'll be alright, because we've got healing. Let's see, let's go and take them out. Uh, there's going to be quite a... We might have some deaths there. Okay. Keep those where they are. Dirk, Dirk's going to stay there. Three... Diogenes is going to carry on finding finding what's going on in the clouds. Okay, we've got a Hoburg army coming in. Let's see if we can see what's in it. Spider tribe village. These guys have got poison. Uh, I don't think it's really good poison. Weak poison, I think. No, it's not. It's just standard poison. Okay. Which means it's really dangerous. That said, there's just too many of us. What's up with you? Oh, I wonder why he charged backwards, but he's just berserking. Okay. Uh, we lost a moose, uh, two satyr warriors, and five harpies. No loss. Okay. We've just got a bunch of naked satyrs with uh, completely unarmed. You're always going to lose a few of those, especially when fighting something like barbarians, but that's okay. There's plenty more where they came from. We were also attacked ourselves by a bunch of deer. I think we got this. Not by a lot. Commander survived. That's what's important. Okay. One more round and then we can... Uh, Niobe here can grab... The Earth Mother. See what else we've got in this area. Okay, we've got to be a little bit careful moving around. Oh, a monster scarab. He would be a nice thing to charm. We could befriend that animal. That would be very, very cool. I think it's probably worth trying. Uh, let's bring Radan down. That. The snakes. Okay. And the harpy out to do, deal with those. We're not going to be able to hang on to those forests. Okay, this is a significant force. I want to get them back down to Bear World. Just because they they are my kind of front line against anything coming from this direction. 
Um, let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um, okay. Let's just upgrade these Minotaur Warriors, I think. If they do attack here, that's probably not a whole lot I can do. We do have some more archers now. Still, um, I think those Ents are going to wreck us. But we'll see what happens. If we lose this, then, you know, this makes the game more fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Who cares if we lose? Um, we could... Two, three, four. Yeah, we could actually send Tegir up here. Okay. That is... So, Demeter here, she's got Animate Tree and Charm. All right. I think that... Like, for example, it's not un impossible for us to charm a, an Ent, for example. So, we've got some... We've got some ability to fight this army off. They've got war climbers, look, unfortunately. Um, and these things will just... The, these size nine, you know, these nine tile units will climb straight over walls as well. Um, we could bang out a call of Gaia. Okay, that's pretty cool. So Grove Guard, we like, we might have some chance of killing a few Ents with some of these guys. These are good. These are very good. And they're you know they're like steel bulls basically, but better, they're even stronger, I think. Yeah, look, these guys just appeared and they're not leveled up yet, and they're level strength eight. While well, these level three bulls are strength eight too, uh, the level th level four steel bull. Um, okay, we've got the high Madriad. I I don't think they're going to come on here. I think I think they'd be mad too. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see. Sometimes the AI does mad things. I think the AI in Con Conquest of Elysium is is reasonably cautious. It does tend to play quite cautiously, I'd say. Okay. Battle in the forest. Okay, lost a couple of those uh, harpies, but that's no loss. Okay, the, uh, they disappeared. Where did they go? Down there, by the looks of it. They weren't, must have gone one. No, they couldn't move two. They were here, I think. All right. We're gonna have to wait another turn um, until we can get the uh, the Earth Mother, just because we we sort of try to defend ourselves a little bit there. Take some of these guys. Ah, oh, there they are. They're hidden. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we found them. <laughs> <laughs> Those Ents were hiding in the trees. <laughs> I don't know how we didn't spot them. <laughs> uh, what do we want here? Hmm. I think I saved my money. Yeah, I think I do. Let's bring these these guys back here. Okay, we've, we've got a, a series of large armies now, like really, really, you know, sizable forces. Yeah, we're not going to hold on to any of this. Let's just move these guys back. Uh, it might be worth taking that if we can grab it, though. <laughs> I make this mistake every time, don't I? I'm like, oh, look, stuff that's not been taken. Unguarded buildings. Let me grab it. <laughs> How could it possibly go wrong? <laughs> Niobe, your turn will come. Um, maybe another two, well, I don't know, because we're into the winter. Oh, no, we're into the autumn, so, yeah, we, we might be able to get it next turn. Let's try and grab this monster scarab, see if we can do it. It's magic resistance six, we might be able to get it. Um, it would probably kill us if we can't, because it's got armor four. <laughs> so we're going to rely on that, we're going to be relying on our magic there to try and deal with that, that situation. Let's just keep, keep this guy on the sentry, you don't need to keep seeing him every turn. Uh, Satya snipers are probably good. Okay. There's another magic library. 
okay, that is cool. Uh, we should pop down and have a look what's there. That must be... Where is that, then? That's there, look. Oh, so we've got the Academy of... Ah! Oh, there is the Level 3 Library. What a great location, look. Okay. That's what we've got to get to. It will be well guarded as well. Um, but I, I'd, like to, I'd like to get over to that if we can. Let's bring an OP back this way. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay. Unsurprising result there. Um, we just need to, basically, we just, you know, what what's one Hoburg army going to do? Really? They're not going to get in here, I don't think. They might do, but um, I, I, they would have done it, I think, if they'd have felt confident enough to do it. Okay, this is also quite a, this is going to start generating quite a lot of troops as well, if we can upgrade it. Okay, we can get the Earth Mother now, so let's just do that. Incarnate Earth Mother Goat. There she is. So, this is Rhea. Geomancy level 3, Forest Magic level 3, just as Mary Discusser, uh, Mary Discusser promised. And um, that behold, fertility made flesh. <laughs> oh dear. So she's already comes experienced. Uh, she's got regeneration, so she regenerates. Uh, she's Im Im immort immortal. Combat caster, trample, giant size, and a ritual caster. Um, okay. Oh, she's got army of gold. Oh boy. She's got chasm as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So, she's got uh, eruption. Okay, it's a geomancy magic, right? So, eruption, summon earth. That's slow to cast. Uh, but that does give lesser earths. Um, Okay, Chasm, uh, five times damage versus walls. So this is like a siege a siege spell. Um, also, just it's, it does the crack, and um, and you, it casts Earthquake on, on some, anything that's in the crack, and it's armor negating. Uh, army of gold, though. Here we go. Look, fire resistance and armor plus two for all units on the battlefield, or for all friendly units. Um, so if you've got a whole bunch of Minotaurs, hey, right, let's say we've got a whole bunch of Minotaur Warriors, all of a sudden they turn into kind of like Steel Bulls, a little bit. Not quite as good, but uh, with the army we've got, yeah, I mean, they're not far off. You hit points off, right? So, and, you know, actual Steel steel Minotaurs would have armor 5. So this is a gaming winning, this is the game winning spell. Also, um, what else she got? She's got Forest Magic too. Uh, nothing we've not seen here. Mr. Confusion we've not seen. So this is a large, large confusion spell. Also very good. Also rituals. Well, let's find out. You can create a primal forest. Uh, she's also got ritual of grand mastery. It would be interesting to go through to, just to unlock her rituals to see what she's got. Uh, this thing. Does she summon anything? No. <coughs> so. Uh, Rhea, I think Rhea is good. We're gonna, we can just send her out with some troops, basically. Um, and she will be just fine. Just fine. She's on the front line as well, which is pretty cool. We can give her some... Uh, we, she can't have armor. That's a shame. Um, so, yeah, uh, that would be a bit ridiculous if she, you could put armor on her. So I think she'd probably be a little bit too... A bit, bit too good. She can't wear armor. Look at that. <laughs> There's nothing to get armor around. I mean, sorry, there's too much to get armor around there. Like, it'd, it'd take a whole mine's worth of... A whole mine's worth of metal just to cover one of her big-ass cheeks. <laughs> Breastplate of protection, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I, I didn't realise we'd got that. <laughs> Look at this, we've got a white cobalt here as well. What's he doing, hanging out? Um, Alright, where are we going to send her? Let's start building our let's start building our own army. So we're going to get some Minotaur warriors on the front there, and then we'll start upgrading some of the Centaur too. I think. Um, and meanwhile, just grabbing her rituals. Okay, she's probably going to have some of the sort of basic rituals. Ah, look what we found. 
Okay, we can't take that out because of these. We're probably going to lose too many troops. Um, but we can we can harass them in the back lines. Okay. Um, Alright, the rest of them are going to stay where they are. Yeah, we'll kill these harpies. We'll kill these guys probably. Probably. Yeah, we've got, we got a lot of troops now. Oh, if it wasn't, only wasn't for this massive, massive army, we could probably try and do something about those guys. If it wasn't for the Yents on the front. Okay, let's bring him back. Okay, I think... Yeah, there is that... Let's get her down here and we'll fly downwards. Oh, I want to see what's in here. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you this would be well defended. So, uh, we have got an Archmage. Iron, uh, Dawn Magic level 2. Iron Arcana Magic level 2. Man, there's going to be a whole lot of wizards here. We've got a Dark Wizard level 2. Um, we've also got... And they, they've all got magic items as well, look. Boots of the Swamp, that guy. He's got wood, the Wooden Sword. He's in Cold Resistance. Breastplate of Protection. Very, very good uh, item. And then we've got a, a Wizard of the Golden Dawn, level 2. We've got a Wizard of the Golden We've got another one, level 2. We've got a Pyromancer, two Pyromancers. We've got an old Wizard. This guy is really, really deadly. And I, the Knight, as well. <coughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, we've got, we got two old Wizards. An Alchemist with a Heart of Life. Crikey. That's interesting. What does false life do again? Gives life to a lifeless creature and removes any never heals disability. Interesting. So, you, like, you know, if you can organise getting that on something, I think I... I can't remember if it was this or the Crystal Heart. I can't remember which one. Um, one of them gives a regeneration, basically. And I put it on an elephant. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, he's got a heart of life as well. Yeah, okay, look, this is scary. Master Alchemist, Alchemist. A lot of magic. That's going to be hard to get at. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to figure out if we... I'd like to get in there. That'll be a, a, that'll be a really interesting goal for this game, will be to get into that um, into that building. Okay, here's the battle engine. Oh, they've got more stuff in here. I couldn't see the little goblins. Okay, we lost that. Never mind. No biggie. All right, guys, I'm going to make this my last turn because we, wow, we have 50 minutes. I played way too long again, as usual. Um, let's get some of those steel snipers. Okay, that's enough of those. You can stay there. Um, yeah, you guys can stay there. I'm going to put him on... Yeah, look at this. Okay, well, there's loads of stuff that we can grab, loads of resources. Okay, what, what else do we want here in this group? Yeah, she's got... Um, 17 centaurs, 10 centaurides. Okay, I want these as backline troops, so I don't want to upgrade those guys. Um, we can probably upgrade some of the satyrs. We'll just get a bunch of Satyr Warriors, I think. Would probably be a good bet. Are we recruiting in these Satyr Warriors just as they are? Or am I... Am I recruiting? I, I can't figure it out. <laughs> I wonder... I don't know if the Primal Forest actually gives you the upgraded the upgraded troops. I don't think so, because we don't, we haven't seen any of the Centaurs... Um, of Centaurs coming in. I'm tempted to kind of send her out like this with what she's got. Because this is probably enough to do some damage. Uh, let's go and send her... Well, should we give her a job to do? Maybe we'll go and give her this job to do. So off rear goes. I wonder what's in there. Hmm. Only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's get a whole bunch of units and take them in and figure it out. That'll do. That's enough. Okay, she was ambushed. Uh, Niobe. Stay where she is. All 
Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode there anyway. Um, <coughs> yeah, we've rolled back most of the map, I think, now here in, in Elysium. I feel this is probably the map. Uh, it could actually extend quite right out here or here um, or here because that's what the map can sometimes do. Sometimes it can be all sorts of funny shapes, but I think we've probably got the most of it. And there's a couple of there's a couple of goals, I think. One is obviously to win the game. Uh, I'd like to get into the Academy of Higher Magic. If we could get that, that would be great. Um, there were some really, really powerful wizards in there that we'd have to defeat. Um, also, taking the Capitolium is, is a must. We've got, to, we've got to reclaim that, I think. Um, so anyway, hope you're enjoying the series, guys. You're going to start seeing some big, powerful spells coming out now in the next few, in the next few episodes, I expect. Okay, guys, catch you next time. See you later.